Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the YouTuber formerly known as Son of Melbalgia, now known as Pastor Payne. Haven't made a video in a very long time. Uh, I had a lot of people message me about how I made this on Instagram. I posted it on my story once and had a flood of inbox messages about it. Um, I haven't made videos in a long time. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know. Uh, I was diagnosed with cancer with... Uh, leukemia specifically back in january so uh <clears throat> you know I, I hadn't really had a lot of time a lot of energy uh to do a whole lot so um anyway i did find time to put these pieces together it's a very simple custom i've explained to people on instagram my inbox how to do it it's not difficult this won't be a long video it's not a difficult process i basically bought the mattel movie masters dark knight rises selena kyle catwoman the anne hathaway catwoman because the head sculpt actually is good now i did hit it with uh a pretty generous coat of uh a flat matte finish vallejo paints um I was considering trying to track down the variant version that had the goggles down and making the heads interchangeable, which would be easy to do, but I haven't, you know, really had a lot of uh, means to just be buying figures. This is just stuff that uh, I had laying around. Basically, long story short, I took the McFarlane Toys, the Batman 2022 Catwoman, and I painted... I basically repainted the parts in the body that were not black because this part right here was actually like a gray. Um, and I painted her heels silver because in Dark Knight Rises, her heels were silver. So hit that with the silver. I took the belt off of the... I had basically had to snap the waist on the, uh, the Mattel one and kind of carve the interior out to put this belt on her to make her, you know, as accurate as possible. And then I just put the head on. Now, I did have to... Let's see if I can... I did have to switch the necks out. I basically... And I could not get the McFarlane neck out. I had to Dremel that out. And because it's rubber, the Dremel gets real hot. It makes a mess. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. If you try to do this, be prepared. It makes a mess. And I cut a slit in the rubber right here to kind of match the collar right there from the movie. And I took the, uh, the neck and I kind of clipped it off with a pair of bolt cutters. And I put the neck back together because it is split in half. And I put it inside that neck hole. And, I mean, you know, it's it's on there sturdy. It doesn't come off. It just kind of slides right in. But I can make interchangeable heads with no problem. No articulation was lost. It was possibly the simplest custom I've ever done, to be honest. It was basically just a head swap, a little bit of paint. Carving the belt out was probably... Carving the belt out and the neck was the most aggravating part. Um, and I'm sure people want to see it. So here she is next to the McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Christian Bell Batman. This Batman has some modifications. Um, it's done by a guy named Ink Drop Customs on Instagram. He also sells on Mercari. That's who I got this one from. He put this really nice uh, fabric wired cape, and it's got you know, it, it's just it just looks really good. Uh, I think we're all sick of McFarlane's plastic capes, to be honest. And just for fun, I'll also compare her to the NECA Batman Begins Christian Bell Batman, which, I mean, it, it, this right here is an okay figure. It, it gets a lot of hate. I like it, but, you know, uh, this one, you can tell the scale isn't exactly the same. McFarlane is really not 7-inch scale. It's really more of a 7.5 to almost 8-inch scale. And really... Uh, if you're looking at Beast Kingdom figures, this is off topic, but I discovered recently Beast Kingdom figures as far as like the originals. I don't know about newer ones. I don't have any, but stuff like uh, the Batman v Superman Batman, I have the Ben Affleck when it scales perfectly with McFarlane. This is a, a seven inch scale. This is more seven and a half, eight inches. Uh, but the Selena Kyle Catwoman scales really well to McFarlane one because Han Hathaway is a little bit shorter than him but not by much so this is actually perfect now the original now fortunately Mattel always makes the heads a little too big which is why this head worked because uh the head the body was only about when I put her next it was only like about this big but it looks so good on this body like the proportion and everything is perfect I'm really happy with it really 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 easy custom to do so you know if you guys want to add more characters to your uh, McFarlane Dark Knight display. 
this is a good way to go. The uh, Mattel, I haven't looked in a while, but I think the Mattel uh, Movie Masters figures, if you're looking for this head, they're, they're not expensive. You can get them on Pro- Mercari, probably eBay. I wouldn't go to Amazon. Their prices are stupid on anything. But uh, it's really easy. Also, these Catwoman bodies are really easy to come by, and they're really cheap on Mercari. Um, I just had like four or five different ones where I used to customize Batman figures a lot back in my earlier YouTube days. But anyway, that's pretty much it. You know, sorry, I have, I've been MIA on YouTube. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, my name is pastor underscore pain. Really simple. Just look up pastor pain. I'll probably be the only one that pops up. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will try to make time to do more videos. It's just really difficult for me to do lately for obvious reasons. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, you know, share around. If you have questions, you can inbox me on Instagram or comment here. I'll answer them as soon as I get around to it. So you, uh, you know, find me on Instagram. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, like the video if you like what you're seeing. And as always, peace out.